10. I want to make it clear that the draft bill in circulation was initiated during the term of the United Workers' Party administration as evidenced by Cabinet Conclusion number 1511 of 2020. Consistent with our approach of transparency, dialogue and open government, the draft bill prepared on instruction from the former Prime Minister is open for public discussion. 9. The first cohort of players of the St. Lucia Cricket High Performance Center were officially introduced. These centers have enhanced the physical and professional aptitude of the players and this initiative seeks to do the same with our homegrown talent. Simply because I serve in a cabinet of ministers who have practical experience in being a sport administrator. 8. Civil society and law enforcement agencies specializing in youth justice are resuming discussions to enhance the management, design, and implementation of programs and strategies geared towards positive social changes for the youth. If we're going to look at changing child and youth justice in the region, we need programs to support it. 7. The teacher training workshop held recently at the conference room of the University of the West Indies on the Mon focuses mainly on the areas of mathematics, physical education, geography and music, piloted in forms 1 to 3 of secondary schools on the island. It is expected that this pilot of our phase 1 will run during the second and third term. During the um, implementation of the pilot, the, there will be close monitoring. Six. The building resilience for adaptation to climate change and climate variability in agriculture in St. Lucia, the Brackbus project, officially began operations in early 2023 with a primary objective of fortifying resilience in St. Lucia's agriculture sector. An inception workshop was conducted focusing on geographic information systems. Farming now has differed over the last 20, 30 years in St. Lucia, as noticed. And um, we need to find creative ways uh, to help uh, reduce the consequence, negative consequences, both from extreme weather conditions, from pests and uh, disease control. We have quite a bit of animals here that destroy our crops. Five. The Health System Strengthening Project, HSSP, demonstrated its support to the implementation of universal health coverage, UHC activities, for an investment of the purchase of lobotomy chairs to be used at the sites where the services are provided. I wish to thank the Prime Minister and Minister for Finance for getting an additional revenue source of the 2.5% levy on health and security as an investment into all of this. Four. Threats to health are increasing. No country or institution can address the challenges alone. We need collective and coordinated action. Taiwan has proven itself to be a valuable partner. It has supported WHO's triple billion targets and health-related SDGs and contributed to the global fight against communicable and non-communicable diseases. Three. The Atlantic Rally for Cruises came to an official end at the Rodney Bay IGY Marina on Saturday 13th January, which coincided with the start of the World ARC. St. Lucia government officials, participants of the ARC 2023 and representatives of the World Cruising Club were on hand to mark the occasion. The numbers were quite impressive and, and I think in many ways it showed that the event continued to grow and especially as I said post-COVID and the, the participants that I spoke with all seem to have been very satisfied with the level of organization. Two. Meeting with and providing a voice for stakeholders within the education sector is not being taken lightly by Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward, providing a forum for them to speak on the issues they are faced with and to find solutions. I'm on the record as stating that for us to effectively execute our mandate in the Ministry of Education, there must be buy-in from stakeholders. We cannot stay in our air-conditioned offices on the waterfront and program and plan for what happens in schools. The principals and the teachers, they are really the operational 
um, personnel in the system and they are the ones who would give expression to a lot of the policies that we formulate as a government, as a ministry. One. A project's presentation and closing ceremony was held recently and was attended by key officials, stakeholders, students and other representatives from both St. Lucia and the University of Vermont. Thanks to the collaboration with the UVM, our staff have received valuable training in areas relevant to the department's function. I think it just speaks to the uh, resilience and strength of this relationship. Uh, knowing that we have partners here that we can work with, uh, knowing that there are people uh, who are here to, uh, you know, who recognize the, the work that the students have done.